Yeah, it's obviously, um, you know, on the back of those T20 results, it was disappointing for, for the T20 side, but um, you know, I think it's nice that there's a slightly new new group um, coming for this one-day team, uh, a few new faces in, in a different format. So, um, you know, it's important that we don't, uh, don't try to reinvent the wheel and um, and try to change our style of play. It's important that, you know, we have been playing some good one-day cricket of late. Um, obviously, it was a few months ago that the side was together, but, um, you know, for us, it's important that we try to stick to the things that, that we do well and, uh, and then hopefully that will give us a good chance uh, at the back end. Yeah, it's obviously, it is it is hard, um, but as I said, there's a, there is a, a new group now, uh, fresh faces in a different format, which is, again, going to um, pose challenges uh, in a different way. So I think that's exciting for the group to, to change their focus slightly from to a different format and um, you know it's always nice we have as I said we've had have had some results uh, with this team over the past couple of years so fingers crossed we can we can switch into one day mode and, and start getting those results. Yeah it's obviously just seeing, uh, disappointing to, to lose a member like Kane he's obviously a, a huge part of the side um, but again it presents opportunities for, for someone else to to come in and, and, and stake a claim so um, you know for us it's about and trying to keep doing the same things that we'd be doing if Kane was here and um, you know, fingers crossed he can he can get that shoulder right and he'll be back as soon as possible. Uh, again, he's it's similar to, to the Kane situation. He's a massive player for India uh, and again it presents opportunities for someone else and um, you know we, we know what depth uh, Indian cricket have um, and we're certainly not going to take that lightly. So whoever is a replacement, whoever comes in and fills his position at the top of the order will be certainly doing our uh, our research on, on how they go about things. So uh, we're certainly not taking that lightly. Um, it's important that we do our research uh, on their whole side, including um, whoever comes in to, to fill his spot. Yeah, I don't think that changes too much. Um, you know, from our from our batting point of view, I think the guys that the bowling group that have that have come into the squad, it's important that we back them. And uh, we certainly, whoever um, is in the eleven tomorrow, um, we certainly have the full backing from the group that, that they can do the job. So, um, you know, sometimes when you get too caught up in, in posting a bigger score, you, you generally end up getting knocked over for, for many less. So um, for us, whether it's a batting, bowling or fielding, it's about um, trying to keep things simple and trying to stick to our plans as much as possible. And then if we play well, then you know, hopefully we can uh, come out on the right side. Yeah, it's probably up to individuals in terms of what they've done and whether they've watched the replays. I know I've heard guys say they haven't watched um, they haven't watched it over again, but again, obviously that was a, an experience for us where you know we didn't quite come out on the right side, but uh, you know it was an unbelievable campaign for us. And for us, it's about trying to remember those good times, um, the you know those winning ways that, that we were we were having over over in England. And uh, you know it was a, it's a long time ago now, so it's important that we we refocus um, on the job at hand. Uh, we've played India a lot over the last couple of years, so uh, there shouldn't be too many surprises. Uh, there it's always a great series against India, so uh, for us it's about trying to focus on this series rather than looking back too much at, at, um, at that World Cup campaign.